Hey everyone, welcome back to Next Step Solutions. Today I'm going to be showing you how to reset a Unify switch and how to download, install, and add the Unify controller for easy management. So let's hop straight into it. I'm going to be working with a 24 port Unify switch that was already pre-configured. If you have a brand new switch, you won't have to worry about resetting it to get it into the controller. If you do need to reset the switch, you should see a small pinhole labeled Reset on the right side of the front of the switch next to the SFP ports. You will need a paper clip or something similar to actually press the reset button, and while the switch is powered on, hold the reset button for about 5 to 10 seconds. You should see the LED on the left of the switch flash once, then you can release the reset button. The switch will then begin the reset process. With this particular model, the LED will begin to flash, and the link lights on the ports will also begin to display a light pattern like you see on the screen. Now that the switch is back to its factory settings, it's time to get the Unify controller set up for easy management. First, let's go to Ubiquiti's website to grab the installer. I'm using Windows, so I'll grab the Windows version, but it can also be installed on Mac or Linux. Once the installer is downloaded, you can click Next, and it will install the Unify network server. This must be running if you want to access the Unify controller. When you complete the installation, you will see the server begin to initialize. Once it's done, you should see the green check mark and that the server has started. You can now click the Manage Server and Browser option to be brought to the controller. Let's give the server a name and agree to the terms of service and then click Next. From here, I'm going to sign in with my UI account. If you don't have an account, select the Create Account option at the bottom of the window. Once you log in, you'll see the server setup begin, and then you'll be brought to the dashboard of the Unify controller. There are a lot of neat things that you can do from the Unify controller, but I'm just going to focus on the switch in this video. As long as the switch and the controller are in the same network, you should see it in the Devices tab, waiting to be adopted. After a few minutes, you should see the status change from getting ready to up to date. You've successfully added your Unify switch to your Unify controller. You can now manage the switch with ease, even from other devices on your network, as long as the controller is running. And as always, thank you for watching and sticking around to the end of the video. Don't forget to like and subscribe, and I'll see you all at the next one.